G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of uh, Pete's Gold Adventures, I suppose we call this episode 2. Um, today we're back at Castle Main, um, it's a little spot I found late last year. Um, up behind us is basically the ridgeline where the, um, we've got a reef running down the centre of the ridgeline here. Um, you can sort of see it coming out of the ground, the old timers have sort of done a little bit of excavation, so it's sort of showing that it's a little bit shallow, but um, yeah. Up about 100 metres or so up the ridge line, I um, jumped down a bit of a mine shaft and um, dug out uh, a 10 gram specie um, and a little 0.1 or 2 gram specie. It's, I'd say they originally drove into the side of the hill because um, where I found mine uh, was more in their throw out pile, so um, that was a good day. But um, I had been back once late last year um, just below where. I found the species, I got one little nugget, um, but yeah, New Year's Day, um, I popped down here, saw this little mound here, so I sort of gave a little bit of a dig, I've actually dug it a lot more since then, but um, yeah, end up finding this little um, little specie in it, so I don't know what it's in it, might be upwards of a gram I suppose, but um, so I thought I'd pop down here today, um, and with uh, this little Sadie coil, might sort of give it a run over that. Um, found this with a 12 inch elliptical, like one of the old grey nugget finders. So I thought I might come back and yeah, have a run around with Sadie today and see what we can pick up with that. So no worries, let's get cracking. Hello right, guys, we've got a little bit of a signal over here. So we'll just sort of pop over. So we'll see what we've got. Yeah, didn't balance out, so it could, either, it could be just a vicious hot rock because these little sadies are quite partial to hot rocks. Yeah, so it's out there back here. There's a little bit of iron stain going on here, so. Pretty audible, eh? Oh, pop down here and see what we can find. Oh, it's not audible there. What's there? It's really giving off signal on one side. Um, being that the last little nugget here, little specie was found in this sort of material. It's a trance. This might have a bit of gold stuck to it, so chuck on some eyeballs and see what we can see. We'll give them a bit of a wash up. If I can't see it, I'll give it a little smack. It's not the most iron stone looking material so it gives me a little bit of hope that it might be might be gold but I can't see it I'll whack this one so as you can sort of see it's got iron stone Some clay, so oh, it's breaking apart easy enough. All right, let's see what we can see here. That's pretty audible. There's nothing, nothing in that one, nothing in that one. So, a little bit confident this might have a bit of gold in it. It's way too loud to be Einstein. Nothing that. I'll take all these little beasts home. I'll chuck them in my pocket. Right. Can't, still can't see much. Still. Crumbs. It's got to be 
a little bit of gold. Oh, can't break it. Get quartz. Get quartz in, we'll give it a whack. Sort of see something now. I'm sort of see it. And that bit. Just start to see it coming out now. It's very, very small. Just goes to show though how sensitive these safety coils are because that is tiny. Uh, a little bit more coming out. I'll give it another little tap. Probably a little point too, I suppose, actually. Yeah. A little point too. It's in a bit of ironstone. <laughs> it is quite small. It's still got a bit of ironstone. See in there. Yeah, so it's a little point too, but great start to the day. Let's keep going. Hello, right, guys. Open up. Basically the same corner as it was. The bit I got was there. This is here. So that doesn't mean much because um, basically all this dirt was over there and I sort of pulled it away. So I had a little signal here. Sounds okay. Super strong, it's there though. It's just here. See what we got. Doesn't seem overly loud. Not sure if that's it or not. Tiny bit of stone. Similar to the sort of rock the last one was in. It's got to give him a little bit of an audible signal, so. Oh my god. Oh, we'll just crush it to dust. It's gonna tell us. It's gold, it will stay there if it's not. Can't say anything. I think that one might be Einstein. No, you 
break the iron stone up, sort of all disappeared. So, oh. a little bit of iron stone for that one, I think. On with the next one. Right, oh guys, um, I've sort of done a fair bit here now. Um, haven't found any more. I only found that one little bit at the start, as things go. So, um, as you can see, I've had a little bit of a bit of a dig here. I've sort of flattened it all out. It went back over some of the old area. Um, didn't find anything there. Sort of made way over here a little bit. Um, it's supposed to only be about 25 degrees today, but um, humidity's right up. So, um, this digging and detecting biz is a little bit hard work. So, might just go for a little bit of a wander on the sides of the um, ridge line here. So. Might sort of go over here on this sort of level area. Um, there's a lot of quartz and ironstone coming down the hill, so I'll run Sadie over for a bit and see how I go, but I might upgrade and go up to like the 14 inch um, evolution coil, see how that goes. Um, sort of try and cover a little bit more area. All right, let's give it a crack. Hi there, guys. It's been a, been a while since we last spoke. Um, well, yeah, I've taken the Sadie coil off. I put on the um, 14 by 9 Nugget Finder Evolution coil. This one didn't sound great at the start, but it soon amped up. Got all this crap off the top. Since I got that off, it's sort of really elevated. Pretty much sounds like a 22. Um, it's on the side of a hill where 22 bullets like to sort of find their resting places but there's a lot of quartz that's why I sort of chose this bit um, I've got basically digging on each side of this little gully so one would think it's going to travel down the sides of the slopes into the gully Here's hoping it's not a 22. That's no, just a little, just a little tack. So, bit of a bugger. No, well, put that one away and uh, yeah, I'm keep working my way up this uh, gully and see what we can come up with. I've sort of come across the ridge line. It's sort of no nowhere near the top of it. it actually, keeps climbing up there even further. Um, but basically where I were before it's pretty much straight back down here probably a couple hundred meters um, that's where I got that little bit earlier today but um, I just sort of come up to the top and I thought I might show you where I found a 10 gram speci basically it was down this hole here so where all this loose stuff is just here in front um, it was in amongst all that you can see where the old timer sort of started burrowing into the uh, reef over that side. And also over here, that basically only goes in a metre or so and stops, but there's nothing there. But yeah, I, I was lucky enough to pluck out two species out of here. One had about 10 grams of gold in it, and one, yeah, it's just like a little 0.1 or 0.2. Wasn't a whole lot in that one. So when I um, do the editing of this, I'll, um, yeah, I'll chuck a photo in. It was actually quite a nice species. It was a bit of a shame to actually have crushed it, but I basically wanted to know what was inside it because it was giving off a pretty good signal. So, but yeah, so I might have a little bit of a scratch around here, see what I can find, and um, never know my luck. I might come up with something and uh, catch on the next one. Well, guys, been swinging for about four and a half hours now. Unfortunately, I only got that one bit right at the, uh, <laughs> the start, but anyway, so I might sort of call it quits now and head off, but um. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, let me know in the comments uh, what you think. Um, let me know also what you'd like to see. If you'd like to see more uh, just swinging around the um, countryside uh, within sort of a bit of time lapse, or would you like to see just more of the digs, or you let me know. So um, anyway, um, share, like, subscribe. Um, so we'll try and sort of get this channel up and running, uh, get a few subscribers, and yeah, we'll see where we can go from there. But uh, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.